Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Fortify Friday. My name is Phil Lambert. I am the Director of Applications Engineering at Fortify. And I'm here today to talk about some of our ceramics materials. In particular, I wanted to highlight our 97% pure alumina ceramic material. I'm going to talk a little bit about some applications that our customers are using this material for. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about how we process it and a little bit about the material itself. So let's get started. Okay, so this material has some really interesting characteristics. One of the really interesting characteristics, of course, is its dielectric constant. Some of our customers in the radio frequency domain, people who are making components for millimeter and micrometer wave antenna and RF components are leveraging this material because it has a dielectric constant of eight and because of its very, very low loss characteristics. When characterized at 10 gigahertz, this material measures down to triple O2 uh, loss tangent. And so that's really great for applications where you have a very, very demanding, uh, or where you require very, very demanding and low loss materials. Uh, but what's also very interesting about this material is we center it up to 1700 degrees Celsius, which means it has an operating temperature in the range of 1500 degrees Celsius, uh, which makes it very wonderful for applications where you have high thermal requirements, uh, such as the nose cones and leading edges of different types of vehicles or anything in the uh, industrial processing sector for boundaries and uh, things of that nature. Beyond that, we're also able to take all of those capabilities that we've described in some of our polymer materials, like latticing, to introduce gradient dielectric constants. Our customers right now are using that for all types of things, including lenses, of course. We spend a lot of time on lenses, but also in nose cones and creating a sandwich type, type architectures, which I'll talk about in just a minute. So our ceramic material is a material that's a very highly loaded photopolymer. What that means is that we're highly packing this ceramic powder into a liquid resin binder. And so when we're printing this material, we are making a green body. What comes out of the machine is a green body. You can think about that as a densely packed powder held together by a binder. After that part comes out of the machine, we then have to take that part over and get it clean, remove all that residual uncured material off the part, and then bring it into a centering oven process. What that centering oven process does is it raises the temperature of this green body to the point where we're debinding all of that binder, removing that organic component out of the material itself, and then elevating the temperature even further to fuse those ceramic particles together and create a final cent a centered ceramic. When that process happens, we experience a little bit of shrink, so about 20% shrinkage occurs dimensionally. Um, we have to accommodate for that in our process during the printing so that we are making a final part uh, at the accurate size of the device's design. So the samples you're looking at here are some waveguide test samples that allow us to characterize the effective dielectric constant of this aluminum material. We leverage this approach to help our customers uh, use this effective media design capability to create a wide range of effective dielectric constants. With a bulk dielectric constant of 8 dK, that means we have a much much expanded range of capability in terms of our uh, total effective dielectric constant range when using this material. The wall thickness of this material uh, can go down as small as uh, 250 microns, which realizes an effective media in this uh, architecture of about 1.6 dK on the low end. Our waveguide test method is currently being validated using a free space test method or we're using a focused beam and characterizing the transmission and reflection of this test sample here in order to confirm that our waveguide test measurements are accurate. This is also a great demonstration of the size and resolution that we can print. Another great example of an application our customers are currently looking into is this nose cone. So due to the high temperature capabilities of this centered ceramic material, we're able to make leading edges for high-speed vehicles but what's also interesting is that we're able to leverage our effective dielectric media approach in radomes, which means that we can create structures like a sandwich composites, enabling high bandwidth radomes for high frequency millimeter wave applications. Well, everyone, thanks so much for watching this episode of Fortify Friday. If you want to start a conversation about uh, printing some parts of, out of our ceramic materials, send us a note or leave a comment in LinkedIn and we'll reach out to you. Uh, stay tuned for next week's episode of Fortify Friday. Uh, thank you so much.